Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48. This is episode three and four for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. If you have questions about getting a personalized reading, you know what to do, check that description box. Everything you need is there. What you see is what you get. Okay, let's see what the messages are for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and north node, please. All right, let's see. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. What are the messages? Okay, we have the nine of wands coming up in the reverse. We're going to leave it the way it is. Okay. Okay, we have the page of cups and we have the eight of swords. Okay, so it, lo it looks like... All right, let's see what this is. We have the eight of pentacles. All right. So it looks like you're getting an offer. It looks like you were stuck in a situation and you got an offer and you thought maybe that was going to help you get out of it, but I'm getting your, your, you're still stuck here. It's like you went from one bad situation that you were stuck in and now you're in another situation that you're stuck in. It could be with a water sign or a fire sign. We do have the eight of pentacles. It could be a dead end job you can't get out of. Okay. So it looks like, looks like you took an offer and now you're stuck. All right. Cause you were you were tired of the other job or you were um you were fed up with the other person irritated so you took an offer from somebody else and now you're also stuck with that person too or you're stuck at that job okay let's see what is the nine of wands in the reverse please nine of wands in the reverse uh, it almost looks like too that somebody is trying to trap you it's like somebody's literally handing you something because it's going to trap you. So be careful what you what you're taking or what you're doing with this person. Getting into a water sign. Okay, we have the I, mean, I knew that was going to come out. We have the King of Cups coming out, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, we have the Emperor and then we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so it look okay, we have the Knight of Wands showing up. So it looks like it could be sexually related. Maybe you feel obligated to have sex with this person because you're trapped. Maybe you live with them, you depend on them for support or you're in a relationship with this person. All right, but I'm getting with the King of Cups coming out first. The Emperor is a good Emperor. Okay, somebody who's very a boss-like person, someone who handles business, a leader. All right, someone who takes care of you, a provider, someone who's uh, disciplined. All right, someone who has a incredible self-control. Now, you could be feeling stuck because you want sex and somebody's just like not paying you any attention or somebody's giving you very little affection and you feel kind of, you feel stuck because you want affection, you want attention, maybe you want to make love or you want to travel. You want to do something. I'm getting your bored. You feel stuck or you feel cooped up. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody who's very boring or like somebody who doesn't want to do much or like some, the CEO type of figure, someone who's kind of very cold, detached, emotional, emotionless. But with the King of Cups showing up, it's like, no, he's not. He's, he's actually very sensitive, but he may be hard to talk to or hard to approach. All right, so let's see. This could be you, though, as well. Maybe you have your own business. You are a boss. You are a CEO. You kind of feel stuck to your job or you always get caught up at work or you feel you feel like you are a slave to your job. You can't stop working. You can't just stop this business. People are counting on you. You're responsible for people. I'm getting you love what you do, but it's like a trap. You love it, but you can't stop if you wanted to or you feel obligated. Okay, what's the King of Cups? King of Cups energy. It almost looks like, like the King of Cups is trying to um, cheer you up with the Knight of Wands in reverse. I'm getting to you're caught. Somebody catches you off guard. All right, the King of Cups is like kind of sitting here. What is he doing though? I want to know what the King of Cups is doing sitting here. He's catching you off guard. He's saying something. I'm getting he wants sex all of a sudden. All of a sudden, he's being very romantic and sweet and affectionate. You're like, what the hell is going on? But okay, what is the, what is the King of Cups doing? What is he doing here? Okay. I'm getting two mood swings. Like one minute, somebody is very loving and charming and sensitive. And then the next breath, they're like very cold and detached and emotionless. You don't know how to feel or what to think about this person. It's like you're walking on eggshells. Okay. At any given time, at any given time, their moods can change. All right. What is the King of Cups energy? Yeah, I'm also getting two. This person is trying to cheer you up because you, you're always at work. You have a lot of obligations. You can't get out of it. Someone's trying to cheer you up. It's going to be okay. So I'm getting the King of Cups is kind of, you know, he's trying to ease your mind. All right, he doesn't want you to be annoyed. He hates seeing you like this. He doesn't like to see you this way. 
Okay, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, he, he's, he's telling you to take a break, take a rest, take a load off, maybe take a nap. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting this person is like literally holding you or embracing you. They want you to rest and take a break. Don't overwork. So it's like somebody wants you to kind of like just be pampered and sit down while they do the work. They don't, they don't want you to do anything or overexert yourself. All right, so I'm getting somebody who's very sensitive to your feelings or to your moods. All right, I'm getting a Cancerian. Okay, what's the Four of Swords? But I'm also getting two. All of a sudden, this person is not doing anything. All right, or they don't they don't want you to do anything, or there's somebody is taking off work. Okay, what is the Four of Swords energy? Yeah, the Two of Wands, deciding what to do. So this this person trying to decide if they want to if they want to take a break or not. Do they want space or not? Should we should we relocate or not? Should I quit this job or not? Okay, so they're trying to decide what to do. It's, it's like they're not irritated. They're not annoyed, though. They just, they're just trying to make up their mind what they want to do. They're sleeping on it. They're thinking about it. They could be asking you your, your opinion. What do you think they should do? Okay, what's the Eight of Swords? I mean, what's the Ace of Wands, though? What is the Ace of Wands energy? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups coming out. So a new beginning, new love. All right, so it, it's, it's almost like... It's almost like you're waiting on this water sign to make up their mind, but they're not really doing anything or taking any action. But I'm getting there is an Aries here that's stuck on you or you're stuck on them and they want this new beginning. They want this new love with you or they want to start a business with you. Now, it doesn't have to be an Aries. It could be any sign, but somebody with these qualities, a boss, a leader, all right, somebody who's, uh, who has self-control, somebody who gets things done, okay, somebody who, who is a, a good self-manager, all right, so this, this could be you. Maybe you feel like this, so there's, there's somebody that you're dealing with that they're, they're, they're very lazy. They, they're very indecisive as well. You kind of have to make all the decisions here. You kind of have to call the shots and make executive decisions because somebody else is like maybe very emotional or they can't make up their mind or they're just, they're just very lazy. They, they always ask you what you, what they always ask you, ask you what they should do. They, um, this person prefers your opinions over theirs, maybe because you are a business acumen. You own your own business already. Somebody's trying to figure out how to do that, how to get like you, how to get that. It's almost like you feel stuck because you have to kind of maybe train them or you feel obligated to tell them what to do or something like that. Okay. So what is the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups energy together for? Okay, the Three of Swords. Wow. I was not expecting that. Very interesting. So it looks like something new is starting, but it's it's going to end. There's going to be some separation here. Okay, this could be separation from a job. It could be temporary separation, though, but I'm getting you're separating. You, you separated from an Aries or a fire sign, but they're still thinking about you. They're still heartbroken. They have yet to get over the breakup or the separation. Somebody is stuck on someone here. I'm getting there's an Aries that's stuck on you or you're stuck on this Aries. It's almost like you're waiting on them. You, you, have, you have this water sign in front of you, you know, kind of just on ice and you're kind of waiting for this other person. What's the two of wands? What's the two of wands, please? Two of wands. Okay, the two of swords. Yeah, there's a lot of decision making going on here. You are very confused about what to do. I'm getting it's about relocating or separating from someone. You feel smothered and stuck. I'm getting you tried to you tried to renew this. You tried to make it new. You tried to have good ideas. You tried to make the sex better. You tried to be more affectionate, but I'm getting it's just not working. Okay, I'm getting you're still heartbroken over over this person, or you're still missing them, or they're still missing you. It could be another air sign. All right, what's the three of swords? I'm also getting too, somebody is heartbroken because you started a new relationship with somebody else and that's why they have a broken heart. This other air sign, they're missing you, okay? But they see that you're with somebody else or somebody else in your life. All right, what's the, I'm gonna get one more card for the Three of Swords. But I'm also getting too, you're trying to figure out if somebody is with somebody or not. Are they single? Are they lonely? Are they, you know, what's going on with this person? You're trying to figure out what somebody is doing or who they're with. Okay, what's the Three of Swords? Yeah, 
yeah, the queen of swords. It's, it's like you're stuck because this person does not know what to do. They don't know how to, like somebody won't speak up or somebody is not clear about what they want. So it's, it's almost like you're heartbroken. You, you're kind of stuck because you don't know what this person wants to do. Do they want to move? They don't, do they want to be together? Do they want to be friends? Like It's like this person can't make up their mind. And I'm getting somebody just like stalling and stalling and stalling. And I'm getting every time you, you know, you approach them or you want to know, what do you want? I mean, are we going to be together? Are we going to be separated? What's going on here? I need to, I need some clarity on what you want from me. This person does not know what they want. Okay. This person has no clue with the moon card. I'm getting, I'm getting somebody who's very confused about everything. Okay. We're going to, what's the, what's the queen of swords? So what are you saying? Okay, I'm getting I'm getting your end you're ending this because somebody is lazy and decisive and a little bit of an a little bit of an annoyance to you. All right. What is the Queen of Swords, please? What are you saying? So I'm getting I'm getting you are the one that's breaking hearts here. You are the one with the harsh words. You're ending something that recently began, or like somebody can't make up their mind about what they want. So you have some choice words. Okay, or somebody is I'm getting to somebody is communicating with you because they're stuck on you, they can't let you go. Could be an Aries, but I'm getting you're telling somebody off. You don't want them. You want to remain separated. All right, I'm getting you're being very cold to this person. What's the three of swords? Because it's almost like somebody is trying to trap you with sweet talk. Somebody is like trying to feed you a pipe dream. Somebody's trying to get you like, somebody's trying to wrap you around their finger and you know that. So I'm getting it pisses you off because somebody is like, kind of like testing your intelligence or playing, playing on your intelligence here. Like somebody thinks they can come in with this cup and kind of like say what they want. And you're going to be wrapped and hooked and no. All right. What's the three of, what's the three of cups, the three of swords? It's like somebody has this bright idea to get you back, but it's it's going to backfire terribly. All right. What's the three of swords, please? Three of swords energy. Yeah, the knight of wands. Yeah, so I'm getting to like somebody wants to have sex with you. Somebody, it, somebody wants to have sex, but it, it's like somebody does not want to commit but somebody's okay with having sex, okay with dating, being friends with benefits. But it's like somebody that this person you cannot rely on them. They're very unreliable. This person is like pissing in the wind. They have no aim. They have no purpose. They have no goals. They're kind of just riding along. Okay, somebody who's a traveler or free spirit. All right, but I'm getting somebody wants somebody wants sexual contact, and you're like, excuse me, no. But I'm getting somebody's in and out of your life and somebody has the audacity to just, to just to come back in asking you for sex. Okay, what's the Knight of Wands? One more card just to see what's on his mind. I'm, I'm getting to you want to know where somebody has been. Like, where have you been? I've been waiting for you all night or, you know, what are you doing? Where are you going? Okay, I'm getting somebody's all over the place or somebody's promiscuous. What's the Knight of... This could be your child as well. I'm just getting that teenager. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, the world card. Something is over. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting you're making something final. You're cutting somebody off for good. You're finalizing it. I'm getting somebody does not, if somebody is not getting the picture. All right, somebody does not expect, does not respect your authority or somebody does not respect you as a person. Somebody is coming at you like this. And I'm getting, I'm getting it's very disrespectful. It could be a water sign, but I'm getting an Aries or a fire sign here. Could be any sign, really. But something is going to end. Something is over. I'm getting, if you're dating someone, that's over. Okay? If you were friends with benefits, that's going to end as well. All right? But I'm getting, you are going to be, you are going to be initiating this ending. You're going to be closing this out. All right, yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. All that romancing and sweet talking and charming, that's over. You're done with that. You want truth. You want facts. You want somebody to, you want clarity. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.